Hi guys, this is our first time celebrating the 4th of July at Disney World and we're going to Epcot and the Magic Kingdom. At Epcot, we're heading over to the American Adventure Pavilion to see the Voices of Liberty, who do a special set for the holiday. We're going to try a limited time sandwich at Sam Eagle's Regal Eagle Smokehouse and we'll watch the American Adventure Show. Then we're heading to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort to try a 4th of July treat and we're ending the night at Magic Kingdom for their special fireworks show. Disney Celebrate America, a 4th of July concert in the sky. I'm Brittany, and this is Extra Magic Minutes. show just let out for Voices of Liberty and it's very busy today so we're gonna go in now and get a spot that way we get a good spot to be able to see them and I can't wait to see the show.
Voices of Liberty was amazing as always. They do something a little special for the 4th of July where they have more singers like up in the balcony. So that was really cool to see. It was like more surround sound than it already is. And I'm a soprano, so I always tune into the sopranos and they were amazing today. The one, she's just living up on those like season E's, just like so clear. Unreal. They're so, so good. I love coming over here to see them. They do kind of finish early in the day. So we wanted to make sure that we did that first because, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. And they only do the upstairs part of it for some of the performances for the day. So we wanted to make sure we caught one where they would be doing that. Um, next, we're going to go over to Regal Eagle Barbecue because they have something special for the 4th. It's the only special food for the 4th at Epcot this year. And Disney's not actually doing a whole lot for the 4th of July this year, which is interesting because in years past, they've done so much more. And this year, they're not really doing as much because I think it's been sort of soft on attendance. It's not really that busy today other than in the America Pavilion, which is packed. But all the other pavilions, the waits aren't super long. It's not that busy. It's also pretty hot, but that doesn't determine how many snacks they're going to have. Anyway, they just have the one thing here at Regal Eagle, and then they had a couple things at Magic Kingdom. Just not a lot on offer this year. And we're going to go check out that uh, limited time item. So let's go get it. Regal Eagle, get some barbecue. America. 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 So we got the limited time item at Regal Eagle Smokehouse, and it is a barbecue pulled chicken sandwich with house made pickles, coleslaw, an onion ring, and it's on a brioche roll. And it was $12.29, and you get to pick a side to go with it. So we got French fries. A lot of people really love their mac and cheese. I'm not that into it. I've only eaten at Regal Eagle a couple of times, but I did try the mac and cheese like a few months ago, and I didn't think it was that great. But maybe I'm just a mac and cheese snob, probably. The boyfriend makes really good mac and cheese, so no mac and cheese compares. Um, I did get the pickles on the side because I absolutely do not like pickles at all. The boyfriend said they were really good. He said they were more fresh, like crunchy cucumbery than like a sad pickle. I was surprised I liked this as much as I did. It was really good. It's actually really good. I was wrong. I thought there was way too much coleslaw on it when I was looking at it, but then when I ate the sandwich, I felt like it definitely should be there. The chicken was great. It had the perfect amount of barbecue sauce on it for me. It was sweet. It wasn't overly vinegary. I just felt like it added to the flavor, but it wasn't overwhelming. And at first I thought, you know, I was a little annoyed that it didn't come on toasted Texas toast. A lot of their other offerings come on toasted Texas toast. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Toasted Texas toast. But this one came on like a plain bun that wasn't toasted and I was like, I want it to be toasted. But it was actually good that it wasn't because the onion ring on there added a nice crunch. The toast, it would have, everything would have just slid out. So it just absorbed the sauces and it was really good. And the boyfriend says, if you feel like you needed more barbecue sauce on it, the one that went best with it was the sweet mustard barbecue sauce. He tried all of them and that was the one he liked the best with the sandwich. They have characters out here that are in, oh, they're leaving, like leaving, leaving. Are they? So they do actually have special meet and greets for 4th of July with Mickey, Goofy, and Pluto, and Chip and Dale, and they're wearing like patriotic outfits. However, their lines were so, so long. It's probably like a two or three hour wait by the time we got here. And they did already cut off the line, but I probably wouldn't have waited that long anyway. Got to see them from afar. Their outfits are so cute. That was really cool. It's cool that they have those. I just wish they had them like maybe yesterday and today so more people could meet them or like for a longer time, but I understand it's fine. It's really hot out. So there isn't really like a traditional merchandise shop in the American Adventure Pavilion. They have an art store and then they have a kiosk that has like some 4th of July merch, but it's stuff that's been out for like months and months now. We actually saw it when we went to Liberty Square. So if you wanna check out that merch, I'll put the link in the description below for our Liberty Square video, which is also quite patriotic. Our Avasti, this is the chicken finger ship. We're coming into dock. Ship of the chicken finger. Arr. I think now we're gonna go in to see the American Adventure show, which is named the same as the pavilion, which could be confusing, but it's upstairs and it has a million, anim a million, it has 34 animatronics. That's a lot. And uh, we're gonna go check that out now and get some AC. So I actually thought that this Native American or American Indian, depending, you can use either one. I thought this exhibit was leaving and it's still here, so I'm really happy because I really think this is a great exhibit. It does a great job showcasing different tribes throughout America, and I think it has a lot of like edutainment. There's like interactive elements. It's just a really cool exhibit. They also have a rotating art exhibit out where the Voices of Liberty perform, and the one that they had prior to this one was my favorite. It was the Soul of Jazz, and it was um, centered on soul, the movie, but also like music in America. It was really cool. So I wish they kept that one. I love that one. But the Native American art's still here, so I'm happy about that. America, America. It's 
smells like 1982 in here, or maybe when it was refurbed in The American Experience is actually a really great show and I feel like I never go to see it. We haven't seen it maybe in two years. Every time I'm there I think that they should retheme it to Hamilton but it's because they say the Thomas Jefferson, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. So I'm always like, where's the next line from Hamilton? And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, I'm a compel him to include women in the sequel. Right. Anyway, the show's actually really cool. It has a lot of animatronics in it. It has a lot of like cool history and um, we actually really want to come back over here and do a video that's like a deep dive into the country when it's not so so busy and we want to do that for all the countries in Epcot but first we're going to finish the series we're doing on the lands in Magic Kingdom but if that's something you'd be interested in if we did like a deep dive in each country you should let me know in the comments so that I'm like motivated to go out and do it I do all this research so I really want to come out and do it. I have like so much that I could tell you and uh, I can't wait to do that in the future. So we're going to head over to France now because they helped us in the Revolutionary War and other wars and they sent us a Statue of Liberty, but also we really wanted a crepe. So uh, we're going to go over there to get that. <laughs> There's no dessert over here that I really wanted. I had the banana pudding at Regal Eagle like a few weeks ago and it was really good, but I just had it. So uh, yeah, I want a crepe. So that's what we're going to go get. America, America. We got our crepe, it's bechamel, ham, and cheese. So kind of like that little tart we had recently. Um, it smells like pizza, honestly, and it's a shape that is kind of difficult to eat. I've never gotten anything from the takeout window. We usually get it inside. I thought I'd be able to hold it, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Let's nibble, like a little mouse on the end. That's so good. 
Nothing more American than ham and cheese. And then bechamel, France. It's great. This is phenomenal. It's one of the best things I've eaten at Epcot in, in a while. It's really good. It's like little chunks of ham that makes it a lot easier to eat. Bechamel is so good. Yeah, you should come over here and get this. Any crepe that I've ever had there is amazing. So anytime, you should come over here. It's raining. Ah! trying to do like everything that Walt Disney World has to offer for the 4th of July on just the 4th of July. So we're gonna go see the fireworks at Magic Kingdom, but I came over to Grand Floridian first because they were supposed to have a, a 4th of July cheesecake at Gasparilla Island Grill. However, they said, it went really quick this morning. It's been sold out for a while. And I was like, oh man, I came all the way over here. But it's okay because they actually have a whole bunch of new things on their dessert menu. So we got something new. It's like a chocolate strawberry coconut dessert with salted caramel in the middle. I decided that it's patriotic because it has strawberry and strawberries are very American. It has white and I am blue. Red, white, and blue. We're just continuing with the France theme actually is what it really looks like, but it smells really good. It looks really good and I'm gonna taste it now. Mm. Oh my God, that's so rich. So it's like all ganache, like. And then the cake tastes like, have you ever had one of those snowball cakes from Hostess? It's like that, but chocolate with the shredded coconut on the outside. That ganache is so good. Um, I have not made it to the strawberries or the salted caramel yet. Oh my God. This is very good, but it's very rich. I feel like it would be great if you were gonna share it. It's a little bit much for just me to eat or even just me and the boyfriend to eat. And you have to really, really love chocolate to get this because I didn't really taste any salted caramel or a strawberry. There's a tiny bit of strawberry jam like underneath all this ganache, but it's a lot of ganache. So if you wouldn't eat like a bowl of chocolate ganache or chocolate pudding, you probably wouldn't really like this. It's very rich, but I think it's really good. For a chocolate lovers, like me. a year experience that we've never seen before. I was so excited.
everywhere. It was so good. We had a great time today. We had some good snacks. We did a little 4th of July things. Thanks so much for coming with us and I hope you had a great 4th of July and we'll see you on the next one.